Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a warm review, warm reviews, I should say. I have more than this, but I just kind of pulled like what I could remember because I feel like it's been a while since I've done my warm reviews, probably a couple weeks. If I don't do them the week that I warm, I forget. So that's why my warm reviews are a little bit smaller than most people's. I see some people and they're, they're just like rolling through their wax. I'm like, holy hell, how do you do that? Some people leave their warmers on like 24 seven. I turn mine off and then I put them in the freezer and so it takes a little bit. I do cotton ball sometimes if I want like a quicker scent change, but anyways, I do hope to, like I've already started spring cleaning, but I'm hoping that when I am like just focused on spring cleaning, I'll be warming a little bit more because sometimes I feel like when I'm doing hauls, which I have completely broken my band, my wax band, so I do have some hauls coming in. Uh, yeah, we won't talk about that. We'll just like gloss right over that. But I, yeah, where was I going? Oh yeah, so when I'm spring cleaning, I hope that I will get through some more stuff. And then, so the stuff that I did warm that I can't remember, I still have more of. So I, I just, it's still in my basket and I'm just gonna re-warm uh, it. So the first thing I have is the Bathing Garden Eye of Newt. And this one was, is this the one that I, oh yeah, this is the one I really liked. This is Frozen Water, Clean Air, and Peppermint Candy. So this one I turned on when I was actually taking a nap. And when I first turned it on, I got like the fresh ozone, fresh water type scent. And I just thought this smells really good. Well, when I was taking my nap and I woke up, I could really smell the peppermint coming through. I love this scent. The Frozen water scent is not like an ocean air or not ocean air it's not like ocean water it doesn't have like driftwood or sea berries or um any florals it's just a very clean like frozen water type scent like it, it's good clean air i don't know what all that is but it's really good i would definitely get this one again and just the peppermint kind of gives it a nice little surprise at the end I really, really like this one. This one was a good performer. It wasn't like super strong, like to where it would be, you know, sometimes I don't want like a super strong scent. Sometimes I just want it to be like kind of mellow and laid back. And that's how that one was. It wasn't weak and it wasn't like throw you out of the house strong. It was just like there so that you could smell it and enjoy it. And that's the kind of scent that I like. Now Buffy is Rosemary Mint and Lemonade. This is always a strong one. I have a second one in my stash and I'm just remembering that now and I'm happy because I really like this scent. So this one is just your typical rosemary mint and lemonade. It's probably about 50-50 equal parts rosemary mint um, and 50 parts, well, well, oh gosh, 50-50, half rosemary mint, half lemonade. I don't know why I butchered that, but it's been a, let's just say it's been a long night. Uh, the dog has been up every hour since like one o'clock. So 1 a.m. he was up, then he like wanted to get up at 2.30, then he wanted his breakfast at three, then he was start barking at 4.30 and yeah, so I'm kind of like loopy and so I apologize for that. But yeah, this one is good. It's like one of those, if you're doing cleaning or you have, like we had chili a couple of nights ago and it just totally stunk up the house. I hate chili by the way. I just feed it to my family because they like it. But when that turns off, I like to turn something on like this that could just clear out that scent. I don't know. I just, I can't stand the smell of chili. Ugh. That's a new thing too. I never used to hate the smell of chili and now I just can't stand it. <laughs> um, all of these so far, by the way, if I say like they were weak in performance, I'll just say that. But most, everything I warm, I feel like is, goes pretty strong. Unless I say otherwise, I feel like my warmers, I feel like I have them set up in such a way that I get a pretty decent throw. I I feel like I use like the 24 watt from like Michaels. I feel like we'll throw anything. Like it has to be pretty bad if it won't throw in a 24 watt Michaels Ashland warmer, you know, or a 24 watt warmer. This from Sassy Girl Aroma is Sit and Spin. This one I was totally surprised by. I, you know, on cold it was good. I thought, oh, okay, you know, this is your typical laundry scent. It's not super special. It's just, you know, your typical laundry. When I warmed it though, holy crap. Okay. So you can see all the scent notes there. It's got soft floral, tropical paradise, fruits, sweet lavender, sandalwood, vanilla, fresh rain. For some reason, when this one was in the warmer, it's just like everything like popped and opened up in there. 
Like all the scents came out. It was like floral, fruity, clean, fresh, everything. Like everything you could want in one scent was right here. So sit and spin was amazing. I, if I could get some more of that, I, I loved that one. This one I was gifted from my friend Lauren, L3 Waxy Wonders Holiday Woods. This was peppermint, pine, and I think vanilla, if I'm remembering correctly. I, I don't quite remember. But this one was old, and it threw amazing, and it threw for a long time. This one was really pretty. I, I told my friend Lauren when I got it, I was like, this one is really good. A lot of people do peppermint pine, though, but um, this one is pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of pine. Like, I kind of fell out of love with pine a little bit, so I have to kind of watch it with pine now. I did like it, and then I was kind of like, I think I overdid it, but this one was really nice. Really sweet, pepperminty, piney, sweet. I liked that one a lot. And it's old. It's on the older side. I want to say Lauren sent me this maybe like two years ago, maybe even three, and it still performed like a maniac, so I only had two cubes. The Bathing Garden Ringmaster's Paramore. This is... Sugar Crystals, Rock Candy, Ripe Berries, and Evervescent Bubbles. This one to me, I think I've just had this one too much. Like I always order this one when the Circus Collection comes around. I didn't order it this year, but um, it's just to me, it's just a basic scent. Like I would rather from Bathing Garden get one of her more unique scents. This one is just super sweet and it kind of reminds me of Elf Sweat a little bit, but maybe not quite as sweet, but it's still pretty sweet. It's a, yeah. It's like got that fizziness and then the sweetness. Does it have, can you smell ripe berries? Well, it's probably got a little bit of a berry scent, but to me it's just mostly like a sweet uh, fizzy scent. So that one, I, I don't think I'll, I think I'll sit that one out for a couple of years <laughs> and then come back to it later. Pixie Dust, this one was from the Bathing Garden. This is aloe spring greens and subtle citrus okay so this one was a little too green for me i liked it on cold but on for some reason on warm that green note really popped out for me and it was just a little too strong for me so i didn't like i wasn't in love with this one it kind of yeah it just wasn't really working for me with that that green note in it i don't remember if any of the other notes came out like the aloe i don't know what aloe smells like to be honest on its own and then the subtle citrus i don't remember that too well. I just remember that green like sticking out to me and kind of like giving me a little bit of a headache. Let's talk about another headache inducer. <laughs> Starlight Soda Pop. This one, look at that face too, like that freaks me out. So this one is Bubbling Citrusy Soda Pop with Vanilla and Light Woods. So to me the Light Woods is what popped out most to me and it was really strong, headache inducing almost. I feel like the light woods is almost, it smells kind of like a, it's almost like a patchouli scent. Has anyone had this before that can kind of maybe tell me whether you think that's patchouli in there or not? Because, oh man, it is, yeah, it's just got something in there that just does not sit well with me. So for that reason, I wouldn't get this one again. You know, you think with a light woods, you think, oh, it's like a driftwood or like a birch wood or something. But to me, it smells like patchouli. I would actually be interested to know if anyone else gets that, but that one I could not do. I had to shut her down, and that one will probably be like, I'll probably try to do it maybe somewhere like in the bedroom or something to see if it goes well back there where I'm not constantly smelling it, and I can just like whiff it throughout the day if I want to. VCS, this is a bombshell blossom bag in Idlewise Swirl. Oh, what a beautiful morning. This is one of my favorite bombshell blossom, but the bombshell boss. <laughs> Let's try again. Bombshell Blossom Bags. It's one of my favorites. It is gooey gingerbread cake, cream cheese frosting, mac apple, cinnamon glazed donuts, buttermilk pancakes, maple syrup, and sugar cookie dough. This one is an amazing scent. I don't really get the gingerbread note in there anywhere. To me, it's more of like a bakery apple, and then you get the syrup from like the Oh What a Beautiful Morning, and oh, this one is just good. Perfect fall scent, I would say. This is like my ideal fall scent. Like more than Cider Lane or more than leaves or anything. This is like my fall fragrance. I don't think I have any more of that either. I think, wait, when did I get this? 
2017. Okay, so this one was like one that I got a long time ago and I just, I've been hoarding it. I don't think she came out with it this year though. I don't think I have any more. That's kind of sad. Okay, I got this from a D-Stash. This is Rose Girls Coconut Lime for Baina Zen. I haven't seen her do this one. I don't know. I don't know if it's just not a popular fragrance, but this one is good. This one is real good. So I've been trying some of the coconut limes from like, I got it in the Walmart wax. I think some sort of coconut lime linen or whatever. So coconut lime to me doesn't really have like a lime note to it. It's just a really uh, clean and fresh, bright scent. And then with the Zen, I love Zen. I'm trying to remember what Zen is. I think it's a secret spa blend or something like that. I can't remember. I need to look up what Zen is because I really like Zen, but anything mixed with Zen is pretty good. So I don't get like, I don't know what lemon verbena, like if you guys have smelled that, but I guess lemon verbena is just, this is substituted with lime instead of the, uh, the lemon verbena. This one is just a great scent. I don't smell like Gilligan's Brew because sometimes with coconut, it's just like Gilligan's Brew. I don't get that to me. It's more of like a clean, bright, fresh scent. Loved that one. Okay, let's keep this moving. <laughs> Twisted Peppermint White Cloud. So glad I have some more of this and I didn't use it all up. I think this is Eye Zombie on Super Tarts. I got this when she did the Easter things. This one is really good. It's a good blend of like, I would say 50-50 peppermint and white clouds. Yeah, you just get, you know, a, a, it's like a laundry slash peppermint scent. So... And I think it's eye zombie is what she turned the clamshell into. I was looking for it yesterday, <laughs> but I resisted. I resisted the uh, the restock. So, yeah, that one's good and strong as well. That's a good. We had to put some in the bedroom because uh, Bandit had an accident. So we were like, we need to get something going in here because it stinks. And that one did the job. Okay, so this one was quite funny. So this is Strawberry Fruity Pebbles from Rose Girls. I think this was a mini melter and I can't remember when I got it. I feel like maybe last year. So when I was warming this, what did my daughter say? Who's warming rotten strawberries? <laughs> uh, every, no one liked this. I thought it was fine, but no one, everyone else wanted to know who was warming the rotten strawberries. Maybe it's just the Fruity Pebbles was too tart or something. No one liked this, so I had asked you guys before like what I could mix with this, I believe. And I think a lot of you said fluffy marshmallow or like a marshmallow scent. I have to go back and read the comments, but a lot of you had some good ideas, so I'm going to try some of your ideas. But I think I'm definitely going to not reorder that one because if the family doesn't like it, then, you know... I like it when the family gets kind of enthused about something because then I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> because then I know I can warm it and it's not a problem, but. Okay, this next one is Sunny Side of the Street and I have just, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it in there. This one is taking me freaking forever to get through. That's what I have left. I got this from a D-Stash. Honestly, I'm sick of it. It's from 2016. Throws well. It is uh, lemon, custard, buttery, cake, coconut cream. I need to cool it on lemon scents because I just, I'm tired of them. So I need to finish this. But what I was mixing this with, because I was getting bored of the scent, was the olive branch from Rose Girls. And this is, obviously it says lush type, but if you've ever smelled olive branch, you kind of know it's like a more manly, a little bit smoky, but not really smoky. I think maybe it's got bergamot in it. I don't know, but anyways, uh, I was trying to create a bathing garden scent. I think it's called the Lemon Olive Grove or something like that. But mixing these two together really helped get through this. So I'm gonna keep using the olive branch with that last little piece. So that'll probably be in my next review. But um, this one I would say on its own, uh, I would say it's probably more like a medium high rather than a super strong scent. It's not a really strong lemon scent. It's more of like a lemon bakery, obviously, with that coconut cream in there. I just I just got sick of it. I, I think I'm overdoing it on lemon bakery, so I need to cool it on that. Okay, Cookie Monster's Haze. Oh, this one. This one is freaking amazing. Every time I put this one on, I'm just like in bakery heaven. So I guess I should pull it out. Obviously, it's Cookie Monster scent. 
And then the Purple Haze is Marshmallow, marshmallow Jelly Filled Zucchini Donut. <sighs> and I absolutely love Purple Haze. And so I love Cookie Monster's Haze. Oh, it is just so, so good. I can't even explain it. I just, it's a gray bakery scent and I could, I think I have like three loaves of this. So I kind of want to like pace myself. So I'll get through this bag and then I'll cool it on it for a while. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it on anything because, okay, that just messed up my little stack there. I don't want to overdo it on anything. Cause I, I like to, you know, like pace myself. I notice if I have large quantities of something, I start to get sick of it. Okay, the Omen I've had from a D-Stash forever. I need to get through this. This is Ocean Breeze, Vanilla, Bean Noel, and Red Delicious Apple. I should know what this is already, but this is Omen. So I've been mixing it with things. And basically what I mixed it with was this jar of tarts from Tiffany's. It's Rosemary Mint and Sinus Relief. I used the Rosemary Mint with the Omen. Really, really nice blend. I still love Tiffany's Rosemary Mint. In fact, it kind of overpowered the almond, her Rosemary Mint. And my husband also really liked the Sinus Relief on its own. Sinus Relief is really strong. That's all I have left in there is, I think those are the Sinus Reliefs, I think. Or is that Rosemary Mint? I can't tell. I don't know. It, the scents kind of mingled together, but it smells good. I did these, you can do these uh, jars. I don't know now. I think she's what, Scarlet... Rain, Scarlet Rose, Scarlet something. Um, I think you can maybe still get these jar of tarts. I don't know. But I like those. Good mixers. Okay, I also warmed through Blackberry Jackie O. This is going in my D stash pile, or I don't know what I'm going to do with it, to be honest. <sighs> this is Sweet Blackberry Marshmallow Birthday Cake Noel. Something about Blackberry, especially hers. Oh man, I, I can't, I, I can't. I warmed a little bit of this in the kitchen and it just smelled really off. I don't know if it was the Jackie O. You know, her Jackie O is just her basic birthday scent, but sometimes Jackie O is a little bit too much for me. There was a time where I didn't like Jackie O, so maybe the Jackie O is kind of throwing me off and then mixed with the Blackberry. Just, yeah, it wasn't doing it for me. So I'm gonna have to do something with that, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what yet, but let's stick this over here. All right. Um, yeah, and I've noticed that with a couple other, like her strawberry scents, I can't do. And I, I, no, actually, no, there's one I can do. It's her strawberry rhubarb. I can do that one, but everything else. The next one I have is Witch's Chair, which I think is Vermont honey apple and vanilla lace. This one was pretty good. I remember liking it better last year than I did this year. Once the Vermont honey apple kind of fades away, the vanilla lace really pops out and I like it a little bit better. The honey part is almost just a little too sweet. Yeah, it's Vermont honey apple and vanilla lace. So this is what it looks like if you're interested. So it's just purple, I have a loaf of it. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty good, I, but I feel like I want to mix it with something or kind of change it up a little bit. Just a little sweet on that honey part, I think. Let's see. Peppermint, American cream, and frosted cupcakes. I actually warmed through this several times because you can see I got down quite a bit. This one is really good. The peppermint to me mostly comes out on this one. Then when the peppermint kind of dies away, you can kind of smell that American cream. American cream is from Lush. It's a strawberry type scent, but I haven't had American cream in a long time, so I can't say. I remember I didn't like it. I think I had the conditioner, the hair conditioner. Or was it the shampoo? I feel like it was an American cream conditioner. I just didn't love the scent. I didn't think it smelled that great. And then frosted cupcakes. I don't know if I can smell that or not. Yeah, I think her peppermint kind of overpowers everything. I do smell a little bit of the American cream, but I don't love it. So American cream actually is, let's see, wait a minute. Oh yeah, okay, it's vanilla, absolute, sweet strawberry, clary sage, lavender. So it's kind of like a herbal, um, it's not like a fresh picked strawberry whatsoever, so just be aware of that. But that, I mean, that one was good. I didn't hate it. 
Okay, this one I cannot remember, but I, I don't like this one. I'm going to have to definitely blend it with something. This is Singing in the Rain, which technically I should like. But this one was a little bit too floral. I think. I need to look up scent notes on this one, but... I feel like there's a flower in here that I was not loving. Um, and it was pretty strong, too. I mean, not like super, super strong, but it. I feel like it could really like dominate the room. So I'm going to have to mix that with something. I'm going to have to look it up and see. From Sassy Girl Aroma, I did Sunset on the Beach. And this is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Vanilla Waffle Cone, Beach Night, and Marshmallows. So this one, you get that um, Beach Nights and most of the Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies is what I could smell the most. I have quite a bit of this one. I have four chunks left, so I have quite a bit to get through. And I feel like I overdid it on the Beach Nights. I feel like last year she really did a lot of Beach Night bl blends. I would just say be careful if you're buying a lot of like the same scent because it can get old really fast. I was kind of wanting to mix it with some other things because I was just like, uh, I, I was getting tired of it. So I'm, I think I'm going to put this one away and grab something else out to kind of change it up a little bit. Beach Nights is be a beautiful scent, don't get me wrong. And then I always get good performance from Sassy Girl. So everything I've talked about here has been good performance. I haven't had any bad performance from anything. So in fact, some of these I wish kind of were a little bit light, lighter scented because some of them were really like overpowering. So this one here is Ladies in Lavender from Sassy Girl. This is Salty Sea Air, Sweet Lavender, Toasted Marshmallow, and Vanilla Lace. I do like this one. Again, I feel like I overdid it on like the Salty Sea Air blends. I mixed this with something. And I'm trying to... Oh, you know what I mixed it with? I mixed it with this. Just because of the peppermint. I was like, you know, I bet this would be really good with the peppermint in it. And it was actually really good. This one is pretty good on its own. I don't know. There's something in there that I'm not liking, though. It smells good, but there's just some note in there that I'm just not, like, totally in love with that I feel like I need to, like, mix it up with something. I don't know. Maybe it's just a little sweet for me. I'm not sure. But I will keep warming through that one and report back for sure. But I need to focus on the notes more on that one. And then I just fi finished a random two-timing tart in Midnight Musk. This one did really well as being as old as it is. And she's not even bus in, ugh, in business anymore. I really liked this scent when I first got it. But now it's just a little bit... It smells a little bit weird to me. I don't know why. It's just... It has something in it that was just not sitting well with my nose. When I first got this scent, I absolutely loved it. But... Uh, yeah, it's still kicking. Like, it still did an amazing job warming. So, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm like, dang. It's like from 3 2016. That's three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. And it's still going good. I wish you would reconsider <laughs> pouring wax again. Okay. So, that is it, you guys. That is what I warmed through for like the past two weeks plus more. But I just didn't talk about it because I didn't have... Some of the scents are like... I. I got in this big mess last week where I had to hurry up and clean. I just had to like throw, toss everything into a bin and put it in the extra bedroom. You know how you do that. And so I was throwing all of my wax <laughs> that I had nicely set up and set out and ready to review. And so then I just got kind of lost. Like I was like, where, what did I melt and when? And yeah, so when I tossed it in the other room, I was just like, I kind of threw a bunch of other stuff with it. And I was just like, oh man. So I actually warmed through quite a bit more, but I can't remember because uh, I tossed it somewhere and now I can't find it. So I'm going to try to refine my basket and I mean, I know where my basket is, but <laughs> I just need to pull it back out and figure out where I was like in the melting process. So anyways, okay, that is it. You guys, I can't believe we're like in the middle of March already. I mean, geez, it's like January took forever to go by. And then now February and March are just like flying by. <sighs> we've got lots of stuff going on here. I've, I've started, I think I said in the beginning, I've started spring cleaning. I'm going to try to do that over spring break because the, like right as spring break ends, we have a lot of things like starting up like with uh, college and um, my daughter has dance team tryouts starting coming up and just a lot of things going on. So 
I gotta get like my act together and I need to keep warming because I've been ordering quite a bit. And yeah, I've, I've increased my, <laughs> my units as the wax band group would call it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm in trouble you guys. I kinda, it's kinda like a slippery slope. It's like once you start ordering, things just start to fly downhill after that. So uh, yeah. I have a pretty big bathing garden order coming, but that, that won't be like for like six weeks out. I have some Scentsy coming. I ordered from Kay. Um, I'll have some more things coming. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay, <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye guys.